Okay, let's get some more practice with subtraction. We're going to walk through this worksheet here, and there'll be a link down below where you can get this worksheet and look at it on your own if you wish, if you want to do it. But let's take a look at some, some subtraction and do it on our own here. And you've already got a chance to practice with, you know, subtracting away from five. We did some things in the early exercise. How do you subtract away from five? So once you get to know how to subtract, you know, five minus four or three minus two, you're going to be able to, to do that very well, and you're going to move up to higher numbers. So let's take, for instance, if we are looking at five minus is three over here. You probably already know if you've gotten some practice, five take away three is going to be two. So you, you, you know that. And so you're going to be able to, to, to do some of these more things like this. And let's do this one right here. Five minus four. What's five minus four? We know five minus four is one. You probably did a really good job with that. As we move forward, you're going to have to do, as I mentioned, larger and larger numbers. So let's take a look at this side of, of the worksheet, if you will. I started to practice with this a little bit. So let's say I had this first one right here, 10 minus two. If you had 10 and you take away two, what is that? 10 minus two, well, that's gonna be eight. You may figure that out, that's gonna be eight. Let's say we have six and we take away nothing from six. What's six minus nothing, six minus zero? That's gonna be six right there, right? Let's, let's do another one over here, that, that, that's gonna be six. Let's do another one right here. Let's say we have six take away three. You may have guessed it. That's going to be three. Very good if you guessed that. That's going to be three. Six take away. Three is going to be three. Let's look at another one right here. Seven minus three. Seven take away three. What's seven take away three? We figured out seven minus three is four. And you might notice something when you look at that as seven minus three is four. You also know that if you take four plus three is equal to seven. So there's a relationship here, right? You're going to start to get that. So seven minus three is four. Let's take a look at something else as we, as we kind of move forward. As you start to practice with um, subtraction, you're going to start to apply this to actual real world problems, real life things that you might do in, in the word, so to speak, in the world. So we're going to do some word problems here and see if we can figure out some stuff. So let's take a look at number one. We're going to take a look at number one as an example. Let's say you have uh, 10 lemons in the kitchen. There are 10 lemons in the kitchen. You're going to make some lemonade. But it turns out that that many lemons is too many. So you have to take away three. You have to put three back. So once you take away three, how many lemons will you have? So I really like to kind of highlight some of the things I'm working with. So I have 10 lemons and we're, we know that we have to take away three of them, right? So 10 lemons take away three. What is that going to make us leave us with at the end of the day? So let's say I have 10 lemons over here. So I'm going to go ahead and take my 10 and write it out. I have my 10 and my 10 and I'm going to take away three of those lemons. Three, got, three have to go. So when I take away three, 10 minus three, as we kind of just been practicing on some of this, it's going to be equal to seven. 10 minus three is going to be equal to seven. So that, that really gives you a good way to apply this, right? So let's see if we could apply this again in, in, in one more situation, right? Let's say we have six cups over here. We have some folks coming over for dinner and we put out six cups, but we found that four people will not be coming to dinner after all. So we have to take away four cups. We don't need four cups. How many cups do we have left? How many do we need? Well, we know we had six cups that we put out regularly uh, initially, right? And we said that four people are going to be leaving. So we have to take away four from that. So let's go ahead and work that out. So we have six cups and then we're going to take away four from that six, six minus four. And this should be an easy one. You might get this one really easy. Six minus four is going to be equal to, you can probably guess it even before I get it. Six minus four is going to be equal to two. So, so, so that, so that's a good one. So as you start to think about it, subtraction and all the stuff that you do in math, subtraction, addition, you can really apply this in real world. You're really going to need this. So see if you get a chance, if you get a chance to click this worksheet to do the other two um, on your own, problems three and four. This is a situation where your mom has 10 turkeys for Thanksgiving. She gets 10 turkeys, way too many turkeys, but she realizes that that was a mistake and she has to take seven back. So how many would she be left with? If she has 10 and she has to take seven back, what would she be left with? Well, let's say you're on a soccer team and a soccer team scored nine goals, but they had one taken away because of a penalty. How many goals do they now have left? So this will give you a chance to kind of practice on it. See if you can figure those out on your own, if you get a chance, see if you can figure those out. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at one more part of the sheet. So as you start doing subtraction, you can see that you can expand this to many different numbers. So let's take a look at this first row here on the left and see if we can practice with it. Look at a couple of these. Let's say I have nine and I take away two. What's nine take away two? You might guess it. That's seven. Nine take away two is seven. Let's say I have 10 take away two. 10 minus two. What is that going to be? 10 minus two 
is going to be eight. That's going to be eight, right? So let's do another one right here. This is an easy one. Two minus one What's two minus one. That's a real simple one. That's just going to be one. And as you start to practice with these, start to practice with these on your own. You're going to get to the point where you go all the way up to 20 or even beyond that. And when you're in first grade, you can go all the way up to 20, even beyond that. So let's look at a couple right here. Let's say if I have 20, take away two. Another way to think about it is if I have 20 and I go back to, what would I be left with? 20 take away two. If I have 20 and I go back to, go down to, I'm going to be left with 18, right? And let's do one more right here. Let's say I have 11 and I have to take away three. I have 11 and I go back three. How many will I be left with? I'm going to be left with eight. So, so when you think about get a lot of practice, really practice with your subtraction and practice with your addition because this is going to really help you out in math when you get forward.